One thing that attracted me to the, to the group I'm in before I joined it is the idea of subspecialization because if you're doing the same thing all the time, you're just going to be better at it than somebody who does it occasionally. And so I feel real fortunate that I'm able to spend my time in an area that I'm the most interested in. And so typically I usually do five to eight tumors a week, including pituitary tumors, acoustic neuromas, meningiomas, which are benign brain tumors, even malignant brain tumors, we do a lot of those as well. And that seeing what works and what doesn't work and doing the same routine again and again really helps the routine to be smoother. And also, you become the expert in that area in this part of the country only because you're seeing the most of it. I like being the patient's doctor, meeting the patient in the office, developing a relationship with them, getting to know them before surgery. We make the decision together and then I do the surgery and then afterward check on them after surgery, follow them after surgery and then see them long term afterward. So it's a long term relationship. So to me that's the best part is the relationship between you and that patient and I feel really fortunate for the people I've been able to take care of. Some of the best people I've met have been some of the people I've taken care of. One of my other philosophies of care is that the people we do intracranial surgery on, a big interest of mine is having them have the surgery and not look like they had the surgery. So we try to make these as cosmetic as possible. We don't shave, people don't get their heads shaved anymore, it just doesn't happen. We don't cut large areas of hair, we, we just comb the hair, make the incision along a line of part that we make in the hair so that as soon as possible after surgery, people look like themselves. I had the procedure 15 days ago today, so that's why my little headband to cover my scar. I remember one of the nurses telling me that when he goes in, he's very particular about, he will part the hair and try to get the best part he can get. And, you know, and I mean, I think some doctors are thinking it's just hair, they just shave it off. But to me, I thought if he's that meticulous about the hair, how's he gonna be when he goes in to get the cyst? So to me, that really impressed me. I love it when people come back to the office, patients seem to take pride in it when they say, I told them I had brain surgery and they say, really, where? And they're looking around for the cut and they can't find it. So that's what we wanna do. Acoustic neuromas are actually, acoustic neuromas is a misnomer. They're actually tumors of the balance nerve and the tumors are adjacent to the brainstem and as they get bigger, they compress the brainstem and the challenge is to take all the tumor out and for the larger ones, save the rest of the nerves because usually the balance nerve and hearing are gone at that point try to have normal facial function, and then have the people get on with their lives. And pituitary tumors, a lot of times people present with hormonal dysfunction with those. And so as, it, as the pituitary area fills up with the tumor, it starts to ascend under the optic nerves and the chiasm and starts to put pressure on them and people can get a peripheral field defect. The problem is if a pituitary tumor gets big enough, people can lose their vision completely. And the other thing about pituitary tumors is there's a minimally invasive approach to them. We, we do them just through the nostril. Surgery takes about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, and it's usually one or two days in the hospital. So that's rewarding for us to be able to go through the nostril, take the tumor out, and see all those symptoms reverse. I really like the subspecialization trend, and I think we have neurosurgery covered comprehensively in the group and everybody's got their own area of expertise. I trust the guys in my group so much that I've uh, flown three of my family members from halfway across the country to have my partners operate on them because I just feel they're the best ones. I think that they're the most efficient, they're, um, they have the best results, and they really care what happens to the people. So I'm very proud of the other people I get to work with.